Alright, Brickheads! My name's Theo, and you join me today for a very special build video. Because today we're looking at something really quite spectacular. This is flippin' Lego Voltron. So this giant robo-beast was released earlier this year by Lego Ideas, and it's based off of the seminal 1980s mecha anime featuring this giant lad who's made out of all lions and that. And today we're going to begin putting it together. Because, dude, this is an absolutely mega set. I've no idea how long it's gonna take to build. I don't even know how many bits it is. What I can tell you right now is that it comes in 16 of these baggies and uh, it's got six different instruction books so might take a while. So what we're gonna do I reckon is begin with uh, the blue one because I like blue and uh, we're gonna see how we get on and take it from there. What do you think? <sighs> all right let me just switch into unprepared mode. <laughs> God, I've been putting this off all day I'm a tiny bit terrified but uh, before we begin I simply must thank Barry Bosman for sending this thing my way. You really didn't need to do that. It is quite a monstrous gift and we're very appreciative, thank you. So yes, let's not dawdle, we've plenty to do. Let's see what we need for the Blue Leon. Three baggies, four, five, and six. So let's see. Oh, damn. Ah. Woo. God, that's a lot of Lego. <laughs> we have book, we have four, five, six, and we have much gumption. So we have to begin predictably with box number four. Look at this, I'm using my phone. Yeah, I had to retire the old Canon power shot. The focus was just so flaky. And like the picture on this is just as crisp, but it seems to react like way quicker. Welcome to 2013. Bag number four. It's about the same dimensions as a bag of pork scratchings. Ooh, further bag. Just gonna pop all these open. How are we doing anyway? I'm slightly petrified. This is by far the biggest of these build videos I've ever done. This is like the biggest thing I've ever gone into without a script or a concrete plan. But it's just making Lego. What's the problem? Sure we'll find some way to screw it up. All right, so what are we doing? First step, we need the long Lego Technic bit with all the holes in. Two of these uh, little stalk things. I don't know how to describe that. It's like a tiny chimney. In the fourth one in and the fourth one in there, we need some of these. One and two, thank you. And this fella needs to go facing outward right here on number three. Right, thanks for watching. Catch me next time. Oh, could I be funnier? Now along Bluey, he needs to go right here. You need to push that through the first one and then clip these in. Bam! This already looks big. I'm a little bit terrified of this. We need a blue two by, is it one of these? Du -du -du -du. It's a two by 10. A little green plodge, he goes here. A little two by one thing with an upward clip. This boy, he goes here. And then on top of that, we need a little teal one and a pink one. How are we getting into this kind of nitty gritty detail already? <laughs> what is this gonna be? Pow. See, this is the difference between like Mega Blocks and Creo. Actual Lego always blows my mind. And the underside needs a 2E and a 3E. 3E needs to go here and the 2 right there. Beautiful. Okay, we need a tall 8B1. That is that guy, I reckon. Clonk. Uh, a two space upward slope. <sighs> Do these things have names? I know that all Lego bits have like numbers. Like that's a 285F or whatever but I'm just gonna call it a, a one wide upward slopey. Yay! <laughs> what, that doesn't look like anything. How would you even begin to design this? I know this was designed by like an independent team, wasn't it? How could you even start? Right, looks like we're making some kind of little gray construct. Oh, so this is, this looks like the back hip. And so this has got to be sort of the bum of the tiger lion. One of these, and that needs a two gray right here. A one white with a little weird lip on it. A little slate guy goes on there and then flip in one of these. Little red clip boy. Is this in focus? Is this better yet? Am I good at this yet, daddy? Pow. And that just needs a little red lid on it. Not seeing the flat little, ah, there he is, got him. <laughs> Keep complaining, stupid, it's all right there. Then we turn him on his head and pop this fella here. And that turns around and plugs into number one and three right here. Bam! We have 
a thing. We're already doing the other side. It's the same thing, but it's the instructions are from the other side, so it's telling me to put this through there first. It was designed by a smarter man than I. Whoops. <laughs> so this clips into the fourth and the fourth. Click. Now, the only thing I'm slightly worried about is I don't know how long this thing will film for before I have to stop. And I don't know if it'll make a noise. I don't know if anyone's going to ring me and ruin it. Probably not. <laughs> I get three phone calls a year. <laughs> what am I worried about? Why is that a good thing? Anyway, on with this side. Thank you very much. There's the little upward clip. And the teal and the pink. It's weird that there's just this one little bit that's all filled with colour. I get hung up on the weirdest things. I think it's just because I find everything slightly amazing. Like, I could be holding, like, a cup of Bovril and be like, Whoa, I can't believe it's all brown and warm. I'm such a YouTuber, aren't I? Whoa! So the underside needs this guy. Two and a half in. Yep. And then a long tallie. And the tiny uppy. You know, like, when you can't find a piece. Ah, there he is. But you always feel for a second like, oh, what if it's a faulty kit? What if it hasn't got one? Hmm, right, so that just clips in there. But the other side had something that went far more securely. That, there's got to be a reason for it. Do, 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 do. We need a little grey fella to latch those together. And another one at the bottom. So this thing is fully available, but also it's all solid. How is this going to be a lion? Could just stop there and say it's a catamaran. Okay, we're starting on some kind of smaller component. So we need this and a blue two. Square guy. Ooh, this looks like the beginning of a head, he assumed wildly. That's just what it looks like to me, all right? That looks like a dog skull. Lions are dogs, right? <laughs> Guarantee there will be a few people out there who genuinely will believe that I don't know what a dog is. Um, few, um, get it right, mate. Okay, we just need to surround the grey with further grey. Now, ooh, I've never seen one of these before. A grey thing with two lumps on the end, but not in the middle. Wow, innovation. He goes there, and he has a mate, which goes right here. And we need two little hinge things. So that goes there. And a similar but not quite the same one. What could that be? Oh, oh, this is a bottom jaw, isn't it? Look at that. That's going to go there. Rest of the dog head. I'm going to stop calling it a dog eventually, I promise. So a small blue lumper right here. And an identical one there as well. Where is this going? It's going here. Funny you should ask. There's going to be a neck joint, isn't there? And then the head's going to be here. I'm assuming all this based on nothing. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just excited. It's fun. This is a good time. This needs two little threes. One here. And another here. Thank you very much. And now we're all panels and hinges. Heavens above. So that goes here. And he goes there. Further grey. If you don't mind. Uh, and a black hinge right here and a grey hinge right here. I'm going to stop trying to guess what they're going to be because it's just not going to be right. It's like speculating about films, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder who's going to die in the next movie. Just watch the freaking thing when it comes out and then maybe you won't get so angry and harass people afterwards. So we need six of these little panels. One, two, three. Whoops. Four, five, six. We have some little vacant areas right here. These all need panels on. Three and a fourth. And then two right here as well. Now what do we need? One of these, little grey stepper guy. One before flat. Come on, it's right there. And two of these. Two little yellow thingies. A boop and boop. Where's that go? That goes there? Yeah, there, okay. Maybe that's the tail. Maybe we'll just find out eventually. How about that? Further construction around here. We need a long 1B6. Teal tour. He goes here. Two threes. And two twos. And that goes here for whatever reason. Large block. Boom. And one of these. 
Sea spray. Lego sea spray. I feel like that would probably be pretty easy to do. Although not by me. I'm not the guy for the job. Come on, hive mind. Now we need to make two little gray steps. Two of these. And two each of those. Three and a fourth. And four tiny gray upward slopes. Like a little curb. There we are. Something quite municipal about that, isn't there? Something boring and concretey. Except it's part of a giant mechanical lion. And these go one here and one there. Thank you very much. Tiny bit of beautification. Two little teal boys, short and stout. Yellow brick, standard. And two of these little seeker shoulders. Don't feel like I'm being terribly entertaining. But I am doing the thing that it says on the video. So what do you want? Quality? Now we're making two large rainbow arches. Pop these in for the center and we need a tiny one of those times two. Little blue flatto and two larger arches. Larches. There we are. Some kind of extraordinary shoulder blade or whatever. And another one please. I'm gonna see if I can do that without looking. Boof. Now who's legendary? Gosh. I started watching the um, legendary Defender series on Netflix. I haven't really seen much Voltron. Like, I haven't seen the old series at all. I don't really, this is something I've learned about myself, I don't really do shows in a big way. I just, I, I find it so hard to get invested. But I remember Voltron being okay, like the legendary Defender one. I remember it being all right, but much like any other show, I try and watch any sort of not even just cartoon show, just any show in general. I cannot stay invested. Like anything more than four or five episodes, then I've got to be really into it, otherwise forget it. And like I checked Voltron on Netflix and it's got seven seasons somehow. I thought it only came out like two years ago. Like most of them are only half length seasons, like six or seven episodes, but that still feels like a lot. I don't know where you find the time, I've got stuff to do. Like making Lego. It's like a, a laser zap. So we need a three on here, thank you very much. And a little sideways four, and a lot of these little fellas, well, three. And a good old fashioned big old block right there. Bang, and that goes on here. Where are the ones with the things on the side? There we are, little lantern thingies. Pop him here, and another one right there. God, these bricks feel great. It's so rare I actually do a real Lego set. Like I always end up with the bootleg ones or the Wilco ones because they're so dirt cheap. Two squares on there, little one side steppy, like a, like half an arrow, he goes there, and a red one of the same. Okay, we need a second of that whole thing. And these go one either side on the side. One there, whoa, flipping heck. That wasn't even the right place, that goes here. Alrighty, now we're doing a lot of panels. An empty blue one with no knobs on. He can go there. A 4 0 right there, and a 1 0 under him. And we need a red diagonal, a zip zab zoop, and a blue, similarly zoopy, a zip zab. Those are all real words. Another blue panel, he can cover up these knobbles and a ready to go there, and two little one panelies, two baby dots, bam. I'm guessing we'll do the same thing other side. No, no, all right. A red square and two little dealies. Those go under there. Why could we not have just used two of that? And a little corner block and him go right there. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Right, so now we're doing the rest of this side. I've jumped the gun on that, but it was right. So that's fine. Uh, okay, blue panel here, same old, same old, and a 1-0, red guy, blue guy, flatto, stato, bratto, catto, and a big sloopy nipple thing, he goes right there, and we are getting somewhere. Now we're to lock all that in place, one, two, join that up, and over here we need a yellow flatto and two of these. And the rest of this stage, we just fill in all this space up with these. So one and up to five, if you please. Tens across the board. Okay, and now we fill in these little gaps with a three. Made a slight mistake. I've made a little checkerboard pattern there. I'm just gonna 
to do some mild dismantling to walk amongst yourselves. This guy, likewise, doesn't need to be there. He needs a flatto instead. Imagine that! Me not being perfect! Wow! That go flat, and that be that. Now, we need these salvaged parts to go right here, and right here, and then a three, a flat three, and a couple of twos, and that's more like it. Right, last bit, I think. Just get all the remaining bits and blast them together. One of these. Uh, a green in the center. Yeah, and we just pop these together like a bad girl. Right, and that needs a sticker on its number four. Let's see if we can get this as correct as possible. Uh, uh. That's pretty freaking close, I think. Okay, and we just pop this on here. And that, I think, is that. Brilliant. We are one bag down. Just the uh, 15 to go. Oh, bag number five. It's like a flipping warp whistle. Except I've got to go back and do the first ones later. No, nah, man, I'm not trying to skip anything. I'm not trying to skim power on any of the build. I just wanted to do the blue one first. Is that all right? I don't know why I'm so defensive about that. Like, who am I arguing with? Okay, so this chunk is going to be the head and another bit. An internal bit. Does this come with blokes? Does it have, like, Keith? Why is his name Keith? We're here for Voltron, aren't we? You can keep your pidge for the time being, thank you. Two of this thing to begin with. And we connect those together with a little grey bow. Two before sideways and two little right angle flattos. Right, okay, <laughs> there's loads of little special bricks to pop on now. So the little green one with the cross in it, uh, a black one with a cross in it, blue one and another green, no, a white one. Good God, what is this? And then two more greens <laughs> and two little tiny Pepsi cans. This is the thing, I'm not familiar with the anatomy of a robot wolf. With that um, that humblebee thing we did a couple of months ago, I could kind of preempt what the parts were going to be because I'm familiar with how Transformers work. But with a Voltron, I've got no chance. We have some kind of bar which will go over here. Pop a little square here and another right there. Oh, teal boy, keeping it real boy. More gradual panel building. Ooh, a red one. And four of these little black semi-arches. Two right here, and a further two. Guess where? There we go. smooth o black -os. A little sideways panel. There he is. Peep, peep. Boop, 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 boop. Grey block. Bam. Little Technic thing with two holes in. He goes there. But the J.J. Abrams film logo, isn't it? Bad rumor. Jam a couple of sticks through that. Little uh, lion head kebab. And we pop a little red one on here and two, two of these. Little kind of chair looking things. What? What is this becoming? And there we are. Domo Arigato. Just slot this boy in right here. Thank you. What is that? Never seen one of them before, my god. I am slightly out of the loop on LEGO, having not been into it since the 90s. But that seems incredibly specific. Two more of these, thank you very much. Okay, pop him down for a second, and we're working on a different sort of stack thing now. Wow, that's weird. So he goes here. One of these through that bit. Pow! Little black thing with a, like a dynamite plunger on top. <laughs> Far out, man. Oh, I guess something could clip onto that, couldn't it? Give him a hat, a little red boy, and a blue flat downway thingamabobber. Yep, that's what that is. And two of these. More of this crap. <laughs> this is like the most involved thing. Like this just blows away all the other Lego stuff I've built. No offense to Mr. Bricks, I love your Skywalk, but this is some next level shit. What on earth is this gonna be? I'm gonna stop guessing, but I'm not gonna stop wondering. Oh, right. So that goes that way up, and that goes in here? Whoa, all right. Plot twist. Literal, actual twist. We are in uncharted territory. We are in the upside down. These just smooth everything out and make that into a single unit. So we're gonna pop one of these on here, a black semi flato with just the two nubs on. He goes there. Two little gray squares, one to cross these two panels and another 
to cover up the semi-black flatto. Jesus and Christ. I'm gonna smooth this guy off with a couple of little step domes. Step dome and sun, and flat out the underside with one of these. And a second one of those, please. There he is. And just a regular 2B. Looks like we're making some kind of weird appendage for the back end. Two longies with a black flatto and a white that guy. And he goes here. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this looks like the actual top of the lion's actual head. I'm ready to take that back, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one, all right? That looks like the basis of some kind of head or a truck. Pretty confident that that's where this is going. Two little gray triangos. Little double clip right here. Pop that there. And a second long blue O. I love these little weird things. I think that's one of my favorite Lego shapes. The little step snake. Some kind of bizarre orangey thing. That's got to be a custom bit, hasn't it? Come on. How many other applications of that piece are there going to be? He goes there. So we've got to make a little panel now. This, uh, this, two little white spots, one of those, and little black snoot. This is starting to look like a snoot. And we just clip that on here. And pow. That looked like stop motion, didn't it? Ooh. This thing, putting together a little uh, chin thing, I believe. Oh, look at that. Little custom tooth piece. <laughs> yep, this is a jaw, all right. This is a little tiny bottom jaw. Way, And he goes there. Wow. Ah, brilliant. Give me sight beyond sight, because I don't have eyes. Right, and corresponding teeth action on what is clearly the top jaw. Couple of blue snoot smoothers. We are making progress. We almost have an actual lion. I say almost, we've got a whole nother bag to do, yeah. We've almost got a head, so that's something. Slap out his uh, cheeks, his liony cheeks right there. This little yellow guy is gonna go there. Looks like some kind of eye visor. Little blue fella to bridge the grizzly mechanical gap. That is a shiny liony nose. Bout a couple of the uh, slopey roof tile things for some mega eyebrow action. Whoa! Two of these now, don't know what these are gonna be doing. Big old block, whoops. And uh, a roughly three wide thing with two blobs on. That can go there, please. Smooth, oof, friggin' flip. <laughs> Woo, quite enjoying this phone, it's way better. Look at this, I'm getting stuff done, it's actually staying in focus for a few seconds. It's not even that good a phone, it's just way better than my camera from 2010. Pop this little uh, wig skull section right here and blam that on with a big black hat. Oh, I see. Oh my God, that's clever, isn't it? So this thing we put on here, this little appendage, that's gonna just clip on. And then we put another one on the other side to lock him in, oh my God. Boosh, we have one locked in head unit. So we're doing some kind of traffic light arrangement on the side of the head. So we're gonna begin with a 3B, this one and a yellow square and a red blobbo and one of those, nice and easy. And he is gonna go right there, like a little sort of headphone Bluetooth unit. And a similar one on the other side, it's just the same thing again, isn't it? but in reverse. That's how symmetry works. And on we pop. <laughs> We are looking distinctly Leonine. These need to clip together and pop on under there. I'm assuming this is for feety purposes. This is gonna be the foot, isn't it, of Voltron when he's poof, poof. This is gonna be massive. <laughs> oh my God. You think about like this is gonna be the size of his shin. Like not even the whole leg, just the shin. This is gonna be immense. Anyway, we've got to make some kind of tire arrangement on here. We pop the thing inside the little tire and this red guy can smush in there. Oh, and that's what all that nonsense was about with the, the hollow bits. All right, this would appear to be the moment of truth. We have to clip this little red guy here. Can you see him? Just about, little red clip. He needs to go onto that thing. Uh, careful now. 
try and get it right. There it is. Doesn't feel terribly secure, <laughs> but it is on. Moving on to the third bag, number six. We're making legs. I don't know how different they're going to be. So, all right, step one looks like we're uh, poking some sticks through. Oh yeah, look at that. Poke that right through there. <laughs> Skewered. Perfecto. Okay, this whole step involves one component going in the butt. God, I'm such a brain genius. I covered up the hole. <laughs> I put those on backwards. <laughs> Effectively making them useless. Oh my, why could I not foresee that? I've got a lot going on, all right? I've got two cameras, got lights. Anyway, boof, one butt ball. Okay, tail real quick, if you don't mind. Two of these. Where's the third? Where's the butt? Where's the tail butt? And having that horrible dread that there's a bit... No, there it is. <laughs> the instant you get that dread, it immediately works itself out. Poof. Cover that up with the only three yellow bits in this whole bag. That's a whole lot of grey, isn't it? It's just Osgiliath. Bam! And there it is. Freaking segmented kitty tail. There you go. He's in a good mood. Okay, leg day, I think. Time to get on with some hip joints. So we'll start off with this sewer plate looking thing. A couple of these. Giant sort of battlement armor pieces. Whoa, check that out. Steel cross of doom. That goes right there in the center. And we need a three block. That wants a little plate. And <laughs> we're kind of cheating with the next bit. So little uh, lantern right there and a tiny slope to finish off that side. That's pretty elegant. Same thing right here. One there and bam. Uh, what is that part? This looks like some kind of knee. Oh, rudimentary knee supplement. Finish that off with another pizza plate and uh, a flat three, I think. Yeah, there we are. Nice. Look at this little decorated robo chunk. It's like it's flipping you off in it. And we pop this right here onto L Kitty. The next leg doesn't look anything like the other one. So I guess are we going to have like two one style and two another style? Like are the front and back ones going to be different and the left and right? So, ooh, look at this. Some kind of little cannonball thing with a cross in it and we pop this in this little divot and he needs to clip on right here and it's the similar thing with the torches and the yeah, all right, all right, I'll just do these all right we need a brick with a little slot in it look at this very strange I wonder what the hell that's for and this guy pow right there and the same old guy he go there that's the front leg so why is that different? Wonder why they aren't just all the same. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure they knew what they were doing. Right, number three. How am I going to keep this entertaining? Have I kept this entertaining at all? I haven't really got any stories to talk. I don't know anything about Voltron. I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> I don't have any stories to tell at the moment. I've got some Lego. I've got a Lego Voltron I could show you if you'd like. Anyway, we're on the last leg now. Uh, was that a joke? Not on purpose. <laughs> Although there's still a lot of shins left to do. Still got to put the shins on. Still got to get my Star Trek Nemesis on the go. And that's the fourth. Boosh. All right. We have the lion's share of a lion. Oh, Lord, he coming. Right. And all the feeties are, in fact, identical. So I'm just going to bash these together real quick. Like a boss. Like one boss. Flat bit. Toes. Further flat bits. Little joint. And a smoothie. And pop one of these on. And that's the foot. Would you like to watch me do that four times? I'm just gonna do the rest now. Two, a third, and that's all the bits. Woo! We've got a little fistful of spares over here. A little army of feet. And if you complain once more. So we just go clip. Ow! <laughs> Further clip. Three and a fourth. Oh, there he is. My gosh, what a monster. That is one heck of a Robo Lion. Look at this absolute unit. That is something else. There's nothing quite like it, is there? Big chunky robot thing in primary ass colors with a bunch of gray and black and that. God, so that, I think, is even bigger than like Predaking's legs. I sort of appreciate the simplicity of the uh, Voltron naming convention. Oops. <laughs> Because, like, with Predaking, I just forget which one's which. There's the bird one, and there's the lion one, and then there's the other dickheads. 
But with Voltron, it's just Blue Lion, Red Lion. And as a simple-minded fellow, that is something I can get on board with. Does it look better on this camera? I think it might. Ooh, baby. Oh boy, we made it. Okay, we have one Blue Lion. That took two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> and with four more to go. So what do you reckon? I'll hit you with another one sort of in a couple of days or so. And uh, before too long, we should have ourselves a complete Voltron for all of us to share and enjoy. So yes, this has been a hoot. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks again to Barry Bosman, who is the ultimate legend of all time. And I shall catch you very soon with further Lego Voltron giggles. Later, bitch. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more Theo's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.